Hi, I'm Rami Pinto, Solutions Specialist at MongoDB. In this video, we will see how MongoDB Relational Migrator can help you modernize your data foundation in the context of the insurance industry. Data modernization is particularly relevant in the insurance space today. Legacy systems are a barrier that hinders productivity and innovation, especially in the AI realm. Ensuring a solid data foundation is crucial to be ready to adopt the latest AI capabilities. Let's see an example of a common insurance data model. The Party Subject Area Model, or Party Role Model, is a standard defined by the Object Management Group, a widely adopted in the insurance industry. It defines how parties are related to entities, such as policies, claims and litigations. Relational models often present complex and rigid schemas that clash with the flexibility demanded by modern business environments. A domain-driven approach, facilitated through the document model, helps to bridge this gap by simplifying and bringing flexibility to your data. There are four main domains in the party role model. Party, policy, claim and litigation. Parties represent people, groups or organizations that play a role in each one of the other three domains. Bringing relational models to the domain space is easier than ever with Relational Migrator. We can connect the original schema with 21 tables to Relational Migrator, refactor our entities into a Lean 5 collection document model, and immediately migrate our data to MongoDB. Relational Migrator can assist you with all the phases of your data migration journey. Schema modeling, data migration, and even refactoring your existing app code with the power of generative AI. Let's see how it's done. We'll create a new project from the Relational Migrator main screen. We're presented with three options to start a project from scratch. Connect to a database, load a schema from a file, or use one of the sample schemas. We will connect to a live Postgres database where we have reproduced the party role model. We'll select the right database type, input the connection details, and click Connect. The schemas will be automatically loaded. We will select the OMG schema and click Next. After a few seconds, all tables and relationships will be added. We just need to choose the initial mapping to start modeling our data. For this demo, we will start with a mapping that matches the original schema to see how the model is transformed. Give the project a name and we are ready to go. We see a split view with the relational model at the top and the current status of the MongoDB model at the bottom. They are identical for now. So let's focus on the MongoDB view. Each of the 21 tables is mapped to a collection. Let's simplify this by aggregating collections within the same domain. Starting with the party domain, we see that organization, person and grouping hold a one-to-one -one relationship with the party entity. Each type of party has different attributes, which in a relational model need to be split into separate tables. In a document model, we can just merge them and only the relevant fields will be stored for each party type. We just need to select the party collection, add an embedded document, and select one of the party type entities as the source table. We repeat the process for the other two, and just like that, we have already reduced the schema by three tables. Okay, this is easy, but can we do the same with many-to-one or many-to-many -many relationships? Let's take, for example, the location address entity. Each party may have assigned several addresses, and one address might be shared by different parties. In a relational schema, this relationship is facilitated through an intermediate table, in this case, party location address. In MongoDB, this intermediate table will be embedded as an array, and the location address entity will be merged into each element of this array. This results in a list of addresses for each party and two fewer collections in our schema. By this point, you might be wondering, does this mean that we will embed everything and duplicate all the data that points to more than one entity? Well, not necessarily. The document model is all about flexibility and letting you choose what is the best option for your particular use case. Let's look at the party role entity, for example. This collection specifies the role parties play, and there is an intermediate table that links to each of the other entities. We don't need to embed party role in each of them. MongoDB can also store reference identifiers. Now we have completed the party domain refactoring. If we continue with this process for the rest of domains, we will get a model like this. 
a single collection for each main domain, plus the role facilitator entity. We have transformed a 21 table schema into an equivalent five collections one. The first step of our migration journey is done. So what's next? You can check how your code will look like in your language of choice thanks to the app code generator. Also, transform your queries and store procedures seamlessly directly from your source database. Navigating to this other tab, we can create migration jobs. Select the source and destination databases and choose between a one-time snapshot migration or a continuous syncing process. Soon, your data will be available in MongoDB, so you can start benefiting from all the advantages of the document model. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, check the additional resources included in the description of this video. See you soon.